python directory and file management is there are a large number of files to handle in your python program we can arrange our code within different directories to make things more manageable and reachable a directory or folder is a collection of or set of files and sub directories so we know that whenever we are having multiple files to handle in some python applications we can divide those files into multiple directories according to the file size or the purpose of the file and we know that a directory is nothing but one file system which can hold other files or sub directories python has the os module which provides us with many useful methods to work with the directories and the files as well so there is one module called os so we are supposed to write here import os at the beginning of the code and then we can go for os dot different methods defined in the respective module so directory management in python means creating a directory renaming it listing all the directories and working with them so creating a directory listing a directory maybe removing a directory renaming a directory can be done using this directory management library functions so let us go for one demonstration for the easy understanding to show you that how this file and directory management can be done in our python applications to do some operations on the file and directories we are importing the module that is os so we have written import os at first the method we are going to initiate going to execute is get cwd that is a current working directory so it returns the present working directory in which we are now existing and then we are print os get a current working directory in the byte that means returns the present working directory as a byte object so let us go for the execution you can see that so at first it is telling that we are existing in this particular current directory so we are in this particular current directory that is c colon users or not and now if i want to uh, execute this method there is a get c w d b then it is showing me that it is the current uh, working directory and it is it will be returned as a byte object so now let us go for one uh, change directory here so here you see uh, we are actually in this particular current directory that is user or not now from this we are trying to go to the directory that is a file test so our path will be something like this so now let let us go for the uh, execution here so c colon users or now file test so that is our change directory the method is chdir which will be used to change the current directory and we are going to insert we are going to uh, go into this file test folder so now if i go for this and then we are going for this list directory that means all files and sub directories inside a directory can be known using the list dir method so we are executing this so you see we are getting this list of files so three files on pandas and one test.txt so let us check yes we are having three files on pandas and then one test.txt so to get this list we are using this method that is the list dir okay so we have gone for this particular uh, folder we are now in this particular folder so now if i print this one it will print that in which folder we are actually belonging at this moment so if i execute we can find that we are in this particular folder right at this moment okay now we shall make a new directory that is a test so the method is mkdir that is make directory used to make a new directory under the present directory so the test will be uh, will be created so you see there is no existence of any test folder here so let us go for execution of the same so we are supposed to get one test folder and the folder is empty but the folder has got created next we are going for use to rename a directory so now we are going to uh, use the method that is a rename which will rename this test folder to this new uh, one uh, new one there is another folder name we are going to give so now let us go for the execution and you can find that the test folder has got renamed to the new one here and the folder is empty okay now removing a file and a directory so how to remove a file and how to remove one directory so here we are removing test.txt and new one folder so the respective methods are remove remove will be used to remove one file and rmdir method will be used to remove our directory here 
so let us go for the execution of the same so we have executed this one so test.txt and new one you can find that uh, they are not existing at this moment because we have executed these two uh, codes so now again we are going to uh, change uh, to our directory there is a parent one we went to uh, uh, under this particular file test now when you are coming out so again we are using the uh, method that is a chdir so again we shall come back to my uh, to my uh, c colon users or no folder so in this particular demonstration we have shown you that how to uh, operate with the file how to delete it and how to rename one folder how to create one folder and so on and how to see that in which current working directory directory you are belonging and other different issues in the proper demonstration and you see right at this moment we're not having any folder here not the test.txt so they have got removed and they have got deleted thanks for watching this video